here's what you need to know. A lose-lose situation? A government shutdown, which could come at the end of this week, would bring unknown consequences for lawmakers in both parties. We clarify what it's at stake. Some Democrats insist that any bill to fund the government must also protect the 800,000 young immigrants known as Dreamers. But 10 Democratic senators are up for re-election this fall in states with little sympathy for undocumented immigrants. Republicans face their own uncertainties. To believe that you can successfully blame Democrats for a shutdown over the DACA debate is naive, said Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina referring to the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, which protects dreamers. The debate has been complicated by President Trump's inflammatory remarks last week about immigrants from Haiti and Africa. Describing talks with African officials, a former U.S. ambassador said, the appropriate word to describe their reactions to the president's comments is fury. A bipartisan push to cut bank rules. The most significant attempt yet to loosen regulations imposed after the 2008 financial crisis is being led by the Trump administration and Republican lawmakers, with the help of some Senate Democrats. Allowing hundreds of smaller banks to avoid certain federal oversight, the bill would revise the 2010 Dodd-Frank Act, which President Trump has called a disaster. The legislation, which critics, including Senator Elizabeth Warren, say goes too far is expected to go to the Senate floor in the coming month. Women's March 2.0 As the anniversary of the demonstrations that drew hundreds of thousands approaches, a rift has developed between two groups trying to continue the activism the movement inspired. On one side, Women's March Inc., which organized the event in Washington and spent much of the past year coordinating protests. On the other, the organization March On which says that winning elections should be the primary goal. We can march and take to the streets and yell about all the stuff we want to change, but unless we're getting people elected to office who are going to make those changes, we're not really doing anything," a March On Board member said. California Siblings Found in Chains A 17-year-old girl held captive by her parents escaped from her home near Los Angeles on Sunday and called the police who rescued 12 of her brothers and sisters, some shackled to their beds. The officers did not immediately realize that seven of the 13 siblings were adults because they were emaciated. They range in age from 2 to 29. The parents were arrested on nine counts each of torture and child endangerment. New Alphabet Makes a Mark The language of Kazakhstan is written in a version of Cyrillic, a legacy of Soviet rule. But the country is moving to a script based on the Latin alphabet. The challenge, writing down a tongue that has no alphabet of its own. The solution, according to the country's first and only president, Nursultan Nazarbayev, is lots and lots of apostrophes. The Republic of Kazakhstan, for example, will be written Kazakhstan Respublikazi. In a country where almost nobody challenges the president publicly, the apostrophe plan has been criticized from all sides. The script makes your eyes hurt, one professor said. Business The recent raids on 7-Eleven stores show the price of employing workers illegally, the Trump administration says. But the message is felt more by workers than by their employers. Alexa, earn your keep. Many people use digital assistants to get the weather forecast or listen to music. That's a long way from the digital home that tech giants envisioned. U.S. markets were closed for Martin Luther King's birthday. Here's a snapshot of global markets today.